All right, uh, I just thought I'd read this news. This is a bit about UAE from the Middle East. Middle East. Middle East Monitor.com. And it says here, documents reveal British politicians uh, were involved in a secret plan to place UAE police chief as Interpol head. This has been going on for some time. Why don't you just put him as a head there and finish it off? Okay. Four former British ministers, former, have been found to be involved in a secret plan to place UAE and its police chief as a head of Interpol. It's documents that were leaked yesterday. Hmm. UAE seems to be on this campaign to get into the good books of USA, of Europe, of UK. You know, that billions of dollars which they paid UK will invest Boris Johnson and MBZ very happy and they removed UAE from the red list. Money talks. I don't know why they're making such a big deal uh, when it's explicitly known that, you know, where you have the money, where there's oil money or any money, you suddenly become, a, you know, good people like USA's relationship with Saudi is for what? Even though Saudi is known to be one of the worst violators of human rights, well, they pay money. So you pay money, you'll be a good guy. So even here, they are just paying money. I don't know what's the big deal here. Last year, the UAE's police chief, General Ahmed Nasser al raisi was nominated as a candidate to lead the international policing organization, sparking criticism due to allegations of his torturing of detainees and pure and poor, poor not pure, poor human rights record. When you detain someone who you don't like, what are you going to give him five-star accommodation? For that matter, what about USA in Guantanamo Bay? Why don't we talk about that? Nobody's talking about that. Nobody's talking about that. Nobody's talking about Julian Assange. Nobody's talking about Edward Snowden. No, those guys are bad. But this uh, UAE is worse. Mm, okay. The UK-based outlet, the Daily Mail, however, reported that it has seen leaked documents. Too much of leaking going on. Have to tighten it. British lobbying firm, Project Associates PA planning a secret campaign. Now it's no longer a secret. To get Al Raisi appointed. Like I said, just get him appointed and finish it off. Okay. The documents further reveal that four British political figures had a part in the campaign consisting of former Defense Secretary Sir Michael Fallon, former Foreign Office Minister Alistair Burt, former MP Sir, Sir Richard Otway, and former Labour Cabinet Minister Baroness Kathleen Ashton Watt, royal title, Sir Baroness, Your Highness, and all that. Okay. According to the spokesman for the lobbying firm PA, who spoke to the paper, the leaked, too much of leaking, documents where a proposal set out a number of potential activities, many of which had not taken place due to change circumstance. So circumstance, it was reported, including travel restrictions caused by ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. So because of the pandemic, they couldn't actually do what they wanted to do. The spokesman explained that the former ministers were not actively involved in the campaign for Al-Raisi's appointment. Spokesman, he said this, but were simply within PA's network and were available to reach out as such a campaign if appropriate. Hmm. See, here's the thing. When you have spywares, what is it meant to do? Spy. When you have a PR company, what is it meant to do? PR. So why are you so bothered who they are doing it for? And uh, see, UAE has appointed this guy, this police chief, whose job is to do what UAE tells him to do. So if he's torturing people, it's because UAE told him, torture and get stuff done. In USA, in Guantanamo Bay, what they're giving them, five-star accommodation, they're torturing them and torturing innocent people. But who's holding a U.S. accountable? That nobody wants to ask. Okay. So although the post of Interpol president will be decided in the next few weeks, it is not the first time that UAE has been seen intentionally increase its influence within Interpol. Back in 2017, Dubai was accused of attempting to buy influence in the organization through direct contribution of 50 million euros. Same thing which, uh, you know, uh, companies are doing in the United States like uh, the fast food companies, the tobacco companies, the gun uh, companies, they are also doing it. So shouldn't that also be legal? No, nobody's talking about that. Okay. Uh, 
If Al Raisi wins the presidency, it would mean a strong presence for both Abu Dhabi and Damascus within the organization, which human rights activists insist would be detrimental to the safety of descendants and critics around the world, uh, including me, I guess. Those fears are especially heightened amid, amid the UK High Court's recent findings that the ruler of Dubai had used Israeli spyware technology to hack into the phones of his estranged wife, her lawyers, and journalists throughout the world. So the best way is to smear UAE, smear the ruler, smear the police chief, and then obviously nobody would want them. See, in US, you know, when you want to destroy a person's reputation or you don't want them to get business, or just put, uh, they caught child porn, the illegal stuff, or something so shocking and disgusting that everyone keeps away from them. They have done this for political candidates like Donald Trump, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, he was involved in rape. He molested me. Why do you think during the political campaign only, women come out and say, oh, he touched me inappropriately, sexual molestation, rape. This is the game that they play. This is the game of politics. Okay. The British government has not yet made it known which candidate it will support for Interpol's presidency. Where the money is, they'll support that person. But the revelation of the four ex-ministers' indirect involvement potentially further revealed links between British political figures, foreign actors, and lobbying groups worldwide. Like I told you, where the money is good, there you will get what you want. Money talks, my friend, money talks. Saudi and USA, don't forget. This is especially the case with the figures from the ruling Conservative Party, while Ashton was a part of the, was part of the Labour Party, and the other three were former Troy, Troy, Tory, Tory ministers. Sorry, Tory, not Troy. Okay, see, bottom line, what I want to tell you is where the money is good, they will get the support. Where you have, where the price is right, you will, you know, that's where you get the might. Anyway. For me, this is nothing surprising, whether it's Pegasus software, Sheikh Mohammed's, you know, uh, activities or, for that matter, the very fact that UK and uh, British press and tabloid have been smearing UAE lately, I guess it's because uh, UAE pissed off some of its enemies. Now the enemies are like, we'll get back to you. We'll hit you where it hurts. We'll hit you at Dubai Expo, we'll UAE Expo. We'll hit you with the appointment of this police chief and we'll hit you with the business. Ah, politics, my dear friend. Nobody's a saint. Everyone's a sinner. Anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, good, bad, ugly. Love to hear your comments. It's me signing off. You guys take care.